All right, so now that you've seen me pour the electrolyte in here, this is what contains our silver nitrate and our silver, we're gonna add some hydrochloric acid and that is gonna form a silver chloride. It'll be a white precipitate and that'll be what we need to oxidize out at the next step. So that's what you guys will see next. All right, let's add the muriatic acid. It's gonna happen instantaneously. All right, so after a bunch of rinsing, the silver chloride that you guys saw drop out of the solution, um, I rinsed it a lot, like with probably like seven to 10 gallons of hot tap water. At this point, we are not trying to avoid silver chloride. That is what we want. Um, so we have this nice fluffy white silver chloride here. And we're gonna put some uh, just household drain cleaner, lye. And we're gonna do this to oxidize the silver chloride to create silver oxide and sodium hydroxide is gonna help us do that. So that's what this lye is. And with the small addition of this, you can can you hear it? Could you hear that? Look at that. Just a few of those crystals is starting this huge reaction. Look at this. I've only added a few. We'll do this kind of slow to show you maybe each phase as much as possible. But our end goal is to come out with a black powder and that'll be silver oxide listen to it when i add it it'll boil it's very cool so it'll start to turn gray and gray and gray producing a ton of heat we don't need to do this super fast but it'll start to boil when we add the sugar too let's give you a top shot of that actually it's pretty cool let's see if we can get it to boil for you guys
mix it a little bit better on the bottom. I guess it's now time for what they call magic. This is table sugar. Let's see if we can get you guys to see this reaction. It's pretty cool. Last time I did this, I made simple syrup first. See how it's turning colors? And, uh, see if we need to zoom it out. <laughs> a little bit more there. Not too much though, we don't wanna have a boil over. Right now, the silver is turning from silver oxide to metallic silver. It's getting hard to stir. Should boil here in a second, I think. All right, we're here the next morning and we have rinsed our metallic silver out a bunch and that's why our water's crystal clear. But as you can see, we've got all of our metallic silver here in the beaker. And what I'll do with this is melt it and we will run it through the silver cell again. And I'm gonna make a new electrolyte for this next batch. And uh, we'll start with clear electrolyte and hopefully we end up with a fairly clear electrolyte because I'm gonna be running this pure silver through it as well as some silver crystal, some fine silver crystal. So we're gonna be running something new in August and September. Look for that next one. Thanks for watching you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this little experiment.